Hi, I'm Eric, uh, here at the CMJ 35th Music Marathon in 3D. 3D. And we're talking to Wolkoff, who may or may not tell us her real full name. I don't know, what is your real full name? Or do you want to keep it mysterious? To my aunts and uncles, I'm Joni Wolkoff. Oh, so that is your real name. It actually is my name. Alright, Joni. You mind if I call you Joni? By all means. <laughs> Because you don't get to say Joni. That's a very nice '70s kind of name. I like that name, Joni. Right? Thanks. Yeah, it has it has a, a charm of the olden days. A name like her lovely thrift store top that she found <laughs> recently, which is beautiful. All right, Joni, tell me. You were just talking about. I'm from Ohio, and so I tend to skew Midwest with these questions. But tell us about the time you, for some reason, found yourself in Youngstown, Ohio. All right, well, uh, as a sort of Midwesterner myself, I come from the beautiful province of Ontario in Canada. Uh, I feel an affinity with the people from the Midwest because I think geographically we experience uh, similar conditions and definitely culturally we have like foods and life rhythms in common. So when I found myself some years ago in Youngstown, Ohio uh, with a film crew, um, I found it was really easy just to slip into the lifestyle. Uh, there was a great barbecue joint. It was like a mom and pops operated situation and uh, a lot of... Can I ask what the film was? Oh yeah, uh, the film was called The Human War. Huh. And it was a, the leading lady. Wow, so you're an actor also. Uh, I mean, I, I've dabbled in it throughout my life, yeah. Alright, anything, like I say, anything we've heard of? <laughs> Sorry, that was awful, but go ahead. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, anything you've heard of? Probably not. I've done like a handful of indie films, that, some of which I've never seen the light of the day. But um, I am in the process of writing a screenplay with my buddy Matt Eastman, a Canadian director. Nice. Um, and it's going to be a music buddy comedy. So. Well, speaking of music, we are at a music festival <laughs> oh, yeah. after all. So tell us a little bit. I'm going to do the annoying thing where I'm going to ask you to explain your sound, mm -hmm. and then you can just tell us where you're playing and so forth and so on. That is so annoying. I know, how, super how annoying. Dare you? If I were you, I would take this cheap mic and hit me on the head with it. I can't believe I'm, I'm an artist at a music festival being asked to talk about my product. The worst. But you don't <laughs> just know from looking at me. Um, all right, so um, I'm Wolkoff. I work very closely with a producer named Icarus Moth, and uh, together we're going to be performing in a showcase at the Delancey on Friday at 1.45 in the afternoon. Uh, our EP is called Talismans, and it's a blend of electronica, um, medieval instrumentation, N64 sound bites, deep house, and ethnic dance music. Medieval instrumentation. You're not one of those that goes to those Renaissance festivals, are you? Ren Fair, 100%. Oh, 100%. See, and when I can't make it to the Ren Fair, I fulfill my needs by hitting up Medieval Times in New Jersey. So, do you have like a closet full of these outfits and costumes? Yeah, I have like a lot of dulcimers and puffed sleeves. Wow. <laughs> I, so this isn't the fanciest <laughs> top you own. No, this is me on the down low. <laughs> so just one show, 145 on Friday. That's it. You have one chance to see Wolkoff. Well, you must have, have you played New York before? Uh, I have. In fact, I live here. Um, oh, okay. I plant my flag in South Brooklyn, and uh, we play it. We play it on the regular. But what we're really hoping to do is start visiting other cities to share our music and collaborate with other artists. But you did say, if I remember correctly, that you were a teacher. What sort of teacher? And, you know. Okay. Well, um, I teach people how to carry a squire and ride a horse wow. and stab their opponent. Oh. Okay. And eat drumsticks and then throw them over their shoulders. How do you do this in Prospect? park somewhere where does this okay what I, what I what i really do is i instruct languages because contrary to popular belief i actually believe that maybe you did that and there are probably parents in prospect and park slope that pay their kids to do that but anyway whatever well, there, i'm sure there are people to pay for it yes right? there probably where there's a system there's a hat right, yeah <laughs> um no i teach languages because uh this baller lifestyle that i enjoy yeah. um, is not funded by music alone i actually have a day job and most people here do though they, they might not be quick to tell you about it Oh yeah, for sure. I was just chumming it up with the, the National Couriers over there and one of them was telling me he works for Delta Airlines. That's a good job though, because then you get those deals on plane tickets, right? Right, it's perfect for tour. Perfect. 
And on that note, we will fly off into the sunset here at CMJ 2015. Say goodbye. Uh, oh, wait, can you give us one of those happy 35th anniversary deals? Happy 35th anniversary, CMJ, one of those. Happy 35th anniversary, CMJ. She's a real natural. Thanks, everyone. Check her out, 145 Delancey Friday.